start this again? <laughs> the same as every every time we start this show. Whenever it doesn't feel miserably, but it's, I, well, we should probably actually be able to start it properly. Considering this is part two of the Batman vs Superman video here on Passy Just Skin. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming back and joining us. If you enjoyed the uh, audio only edition <laughs> of the second half of the last video, thanks very much for sticking around for this. Um, we said you had camera issues with it uh, shutting down, and we were in too much of a flow to even give a fuck about the camera actually failing us. That's just it. When the flow is going, you just fuck everything else around. What's your you? flow, man? I hope you enjoyed the, the little montage of images I put together to try and kind of like fill in the gap of actually only being able to hear us bantering on but um well, as we were saying in the previous one we've watched the trailer we kind of looked down through it. we have a few theories about what actually is going to be in the batman vs superman movie what we have now is the batman vs superman supercut which has been made by fans taking all the trailers and edited them into what is believed to be the chronological order of the film, the film. which totals flows. to about 10 minutes of footage how it actually flows like how the movie mm. flows we're all we're all about flow so in this case, I um, have to give you massive spoiler kind of warnings because uh, apparently this has been confirmed by people who saw the tra press trailers and stuff. They're going like, this is chronologically how the movie's going to kind of progress. And with the 10 minutes obviously not being 10 actual beginning minutes of the movie, this yep. is going to like jump from beginning to middle to end in a way that's probably going to spoil a fair amount for you. If you don't want to see it, I kind of don't want to see this. <laughs> I just didn't. I mean, this is 10 minutes of a two-hour plus long film. Yeah. If, if 10 minutes of a two-hour plus long film can ruin it, and obviously, if they've managed to put in something that is a massive, massive spoiler in the trailers, like, I, I'm talking live free, die hard level <laughs> of spoiler. Like, did anybody else see that whenever the movie came out? The trailer actually has a scene in the trailer that is literally the second to last moment in the entire film. Which, I'm going to get, is it like him shooting himself for himself? or No, no, it, no. Live, no, Live Free, Die Hard is the one set in Russia with his son. Oh, right, yeah, fuck. Uh, no, Dan, no, I haven't apologized. I don't know yeah, if you the, really seen the trailer court. Yeah, uh, pretty much there's a helicopter crash where they dive into a pool. And that is like literally the last action beat before the credits start. So they show you the ending of the movie in the trailer. That's kind of stupid. Well, when well, you think about it, that, I mean... I'm thinking about the trailer now. I mean, I think it was, you know, I, think I, I would have thought that would have been, I would have thought, oh, is that, when, when did that happen in the film? But when you see the film, it, like you say, it's at the end. Yeah, it literally, but it, it kind of takes a lot of that kind of the impetus of that event because it, the ending builds up to that moment and you're kind of going like, I can see what, I can see it coming, telegraph from so far away because they've already shown it to me. So that's the reason why I'm watching this. I don't want to have that same feeling. So I'm going to warn you. Thanks very much for watching. <laughs> I probably already said bye-bye to you. You've already gone away. You've already ran off in fear. If you're still with us, prepare to actually have the same reactions that we're going to yeah, have for I mean, watching 10 this, minutes of the film. This is the first time I'm seeing this in chronological order. So if they, if you don't want to see this, if you don't want to be spoiled, this is where you stop. Yep. So guys, thank you very much for watching for those that are run away. <laughs> but for the rest of you, let's check it out. <laughs> I'm already regretting this. Or, you know, they could just hit the volume button and still give us the view. Well, that's true. Uh, can, I, I, that's true. If you want to let the video keep rolling. So, yeah. I mean, essentially, all these have been pu pulled together from every single kind of snippet and scene. TV spots. And TV spot that's actually been produced so far. It's so. Not, it, the fucking eyes cutting through. That's, oh, this is all 9 11, just. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, essentially, like, we're going to be watching right there. this, and a lot of people are going to get that same feeling from watching it. Like, these are all from the original TV spots where. Uh, it's really obvious they're kind of intending to put across like a natural disaster for America, so... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's such a... It, it, Wayne. Wayne Enterprises, Wayne, yeah. Wayne Financial. Oh, Wayne <laughs> Financial? So it's actually like not even Wayne Enterprises? Wall Street, essentially. Mm -hmm. The world needs to know what happened. They know what he stands for. I mean, the editing of these tra this trailer, it's editing... Uh, well... ...is pretty today. softly done. Is a day or two. Yeah, so they like, said like, a prosecution and investigation in the beginning of it, like a, almost like a McCarthy era trial of Superman. Put Superman on trial. Yeah. This is this is America's civil war. In the universe. Yeah, well, that's pretty much the <laughs> modern American civil war. But then of course it's like this is like the rotate this is where it turned around like the where he spoke well enough and eloquently enough and actually he's pointed out that he's here to protect and save and to serve. So why we have uh, Matalo, Bane, Bane, oh false god. See here's the problem, they're all go home, go home. Yeah, I have no if home! It, if it was totally, that was bad editing right there. If, uh, 
<laughs> well, needed. That's what I'm saying. They tried to put everything in chronological context for setup. No, but I mean, like, I just it had the same scene, sort of like sort of shift. Oh, up. don't! I, I wouldn't. I'm not going to give anybody any shit about their editing this because they're literally editing in TV spots and I know, I know, together. I know. But like, progression-wise, this all makes logistical sense so far. Nothing seems to have jumped. I mean, there'll be a lot of political intrigue. Then you're gonna have Lexus who showed up to Kenji be a snivelly bastard. Wait, I mean, it's. I was thinking there maybe that their mother, and daughter, or mother and son there for a second, but uh, the senator. I think you let your family die is pretty fucking. There's men. Oh, that's old Wayne Manor. Yep. Oh, I never saw that. No, actually, the Wayne Manor being destroyed. Twenty years in Gotham. And there's a baller. Bringing you flashbacks over there too. That way. You're gonna go to war. He's the one that brought the war. But he didn't. She has the power to wipe out the entire human race, and if we believe there's even a one percent chance that he is our enemy, oh, the one percent is absolute. <laughs> the one percent chance of the fear. Yeah, haha, <laughs> jokes on you. Like that's inside the 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 cave, essentially. He's kept that, and that was. Are you that... sure that's the cave? Are you sure? It's maybe not when I talked about it in the previous sure. video, where they're in that place she and there's the like a the boss in the background. Yeah, no, this this is a different. But I mean, look look at the environment. But I mean. It's in glass cases and there's a lot of other memorabilia. Like, it's, I mean, the giant penny's probably in the background of the shot there. And obviously, looking at that, that's not Batman suit. Yeah? No, well, maybe the one from his nightmare. No, but look at the weapon. Yeah, it's... And this, the coil on the body suit. That, that isn't a Batman suit, that's a Robin suit. Batman, or Robin's buff? Yeah, motherfucker, have you seen the Arkham games? <laughs> Actually, I'm not... See, again, out of gaming, I've not played them. All right, well, I've seen them... Seen them, but I've not played them. Okay, so they're, 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 Robin in the Arkham games is a buff motherfucker. Like he's Chris O'Donnell. He's Chris O'Donnell. Like the modern kind of like uh, Arkham City ones is Chris O'Donnell. Like Chris O'Donnell in the fucking suit, like Nightwing immediately. He's not a young kid. Cool. But yeah, that's that's really a Robin suit. Like, wait, wait. Like, <laughs> so wait, uh, pause that a second. So essentially, we we don't see it, but you know, I we could have him play it and go, oh, Matt Damon wore that suit. <laughs> oh God! Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, they, they are they are partnered up in absolutely everything, but yeah, yeah. You no, know, the, it was Loki. That's who it was. It was. It's Dogma all over again. He's the <laughs> badass. And he's well, not it's the only way around. Yeah, yeah. Then this, he's, well, he became the badass at the end of Dogma. Remember? Yeah. Fuck, oh, crazy nut. The rage. The rage. Feeling of powerlessness. That's Terms, good man. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. I've never seen this. Okay, so that, did you just see that bit with the um pulling the tire? Where he's ripped as fuck. Oh well, yeah, the part like, they ripped as fuck is pretty much like Ben Affleck's like, I am going to be ripped for this motherfucker. I am Batman. Like, like, he was lifting like, like a, literally a ball and chain there, but um tire. Yeah, no, the, uh, before that it was a ball and chain. Oh. but this bit here. That's not. I have not. I don't think. I've, Who is that? Is that is that Wayne? He looks a bit thin. Okay. I mean, it's not Alfred either. Just wondering who that is in this little bit. Maybe it is Alfred. Actually, this is probably a scientist making the Doomsday Zod weaponly thing. Possibly, do you think? Well, if it is, he's. It's. I mean, by the logical order of this, it's really early in the film. Yeah. Well, essentially, Lex Luthor's plans already started. To be, like, this is what be the build up towards. I suppose, in, I suppose like if you start creating the thing at this point so that no, no, no 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 because, uh, no, because we haven't seen the bit where Had the Zod, Zod's in the body bag alright well it, it, the only reason why I think it in this case is because it doesn't look like a laser beam it looks like a sunlight beam and sunlight is what powers Superman uh, uh, Kryptonians yeah so that's what it makes me think and it makes me think it's a scientist from Star Labs or something like uh, Emil Hammond or whatever maybe it's Barry Allen no well, maybe a bit too on the nose <laughs> Cruel. Oh, it's very, very similar to uh, his origin as well, I suppose. Even you got too old to die young, not for lack of trying. Oh, well, well he's gonna live free or die hard. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <have> shit. <laughs> yeah, find the bodies. That vigilante is like a one man reign of terror. That brand of justice. The has to do the right thing. Gotham Free Press. what the right thing is. <laughs> nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. Yeah, nobody cares about that. Nah. Nope, not even us watching it. Who's that? You must you. be new. Batman. Batman is Bruce Wayne. Yeah, see, it's a little smoke kind of looks to himself. I mean, I mean, the it, actual like celebrity. It's actually, it's actually who's that? Fashionable ben Affleck. Male. <laughs> Fashionable male. Fashionable male. 
Fashionable be male, Ben Affleck. Civil liberties are a smart better city. People living in fear. A bad vigilante thinks he's above the law. Don't believe everything you hear, son. The Daily Planet son? criticizes mm. those yeah. who think they're above the laws. Oh, hypocritical. What'd you say? I mean, for fuck's sake, he saves Americans. He's astronauts? Who doesn't want to save astronauts? Yeah, well, it does show his power in this as well, though. It's just like you even see the little flex of the muscles. Most yeah, of the world doesn't share your opinion, Mr. Wayne. Maybe it's the Gotham City in me. We just have a bad history with freaks dressed like clowns. Ooh. <laughs> Harsh line. Boys, mm. Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. He's got, he's gonna be a really good Lex Luthor. Lex, he's the same. He's he's playing. Uh, it seems like it. Is a Ow, wow, that is a good grip. You, you hear that we thud as well when oh. we hit him in the chest. Yeah, dunk. It like almost sounds hollow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, like a lot of people kind of go like, how is he meant to be Lex Luthor? And I was like, right, I can easily see it. I can easily see smart money. It doesn't. He could be any age in this. He doesn't have. Hard. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Lex Luthor doesn't have to be. Or he doesn't have to be rich. He doesn't even have to be rich. But he doesn't have to be old, or he doesn't have to be like that traditional bald-headed version of him. And like, which in the end of it, probably will end up. Bald oh yeah, he'll probably end up bald by the end of this. Like, we're almost sure. But it's, this is gonna be a year of bald-headed <laughs> because we're gonna have the fucking uh, your man is gonna be bald-headed by the end of uh, Apocalypse as well. Uh. I was gonna say from X Men, um, not Stuart. <laughs> yeah, he Deadpool. was not, not Stuart. Thinking, Stuart's thinking, already been there. And I'm done thinking. That. I'm thinking of Deadpool. Oh, which one, Stuart or James McAvoy? McAvoy. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. you go. But well, um, I think Lex Luthor. You know, Bruce Wayne and <laughs> Superman or Bruce Wayne and Superman. Clark Kent. It's like he is. He's a he's, fanboy. He's, he's, he's the fanboy. He's the he's the audience in the film, kind of pointing at. I fucking, know I already know you fuckers <laughs> I am the smartest guy in the room like even Jimmy like this entire scene was uh, mocked well, not the, it was mocked in the Jimmy Kimmel thing yeah. where it's like uh, oh wait if I do I recognise you and it's like oh that's you know recognize this Clark Kent oh wait you're Superman no I'm not oh yes you are take a picture here take take a take this picture he hands, <laughs> it, to, he hands it, it to he hands it to Ben Affleck who takes a picture of um, Kimmel's character and Clark Kent there yeah. and it just because the phone is so close to his face it's like wait are you <gasps> it's Batman you know? <laughs> he does the whole like puts a hand over the face he like sees the jaw and just checks it underneath yeah, and like, yeah but I know I know that jaw <laughs> yeah so in this sense I think Lex Luthor it's sort of playing into that sort of thing too yeah as I said well in this scene specifically it's actually meant to be like and you do not want to start a fight with this man <laughs> yeah you, know? you get these two together and we'll finally get them face to face and say like, I, that, this will be the, this will be the first meeting of them actually in the movie as well of course mm -hmm. Pick a fight with this person. Yep. You don't pick a fight with this person. You didn't say man as well. Yeah. There's the flying. Yeah, the bat wing. Bat wing. Let's go. Pardon me. Completely went there. Well, imaging is showing me two dozen hostiles on the third floor. You could have just killed them all. Yeah. He's par he's piloting the bat wing from yep. home. He's not actually in this plane. Nice. He's he's piloting over the PlayStation Network. Yeah. <laughs> Remote play. <laughs> Yeah, this fight scene is brilliant. <laughs> it, like, it really is just like watching Batman just tear house. It's you know what? It reminds me of the cartoon, the animated series in the nineties, where he just like he flowed through a room and just took out bad guys. Oh yeah, yeah. like that there. Fuck me. Oh, it's, it's very cartoonish. The violence, slightly in that bit. I do, and I do like the design of the new Batmobile. The new Batmobile looks pretty fucking badass. It is badass. I, so I, I like it better than the Tumbler. Oh wait, wait, wait. And it's a foot plant. Like a deer in the headlights. Boom. I didn't even need to use this footing, I just done what was fucking fair. He's just like turned into it. <laughs> That's an alarm saying you're fucked. <laughs> fuck, 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 <laughs> fuck. I do like this, just the rise, it's just like, stand I died. But like, no, I'm not gonna fucking guard from you, prick. Next time they shine your light in the sky, don't go to it. The bat is dead. Bury it. Consider this mercy. I wonder at this stage it's already knows. Can you bleed? Do you bleed? I think at this stage they already they already have interacted. Cause this has gotta be before he builds the suit. You will. Yeah. I don't know if you wouldn't like you. Before he builds the actual suit he's gonna fight him in? Yep. I don't think you've ever known a woman like me. Yeah, Wonder Woman and Batman are gonna fuck. Mm. Oh, well. So, yeah, oh, right. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just realized, I just saw someone there and I'm going to, I, I know exactly what this is now. The logo on the shoulder? No, 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 wait for it. 
Okay, so you got the guy on horseback and all this shit going on yep. here. But yeah, see that? Whoa! Hey! Okay. See those things flying? What? Um, alright, I'm gonna explain this now. So, I was right. This this is either War World or a possible future. I think I'm gonna have that bit. Okay, so the soldiers, so, like, see the soldier symbols on here? Fight going on. Let's see, right, these things flying by. Fuck are these guys? These are parademons. Oh, okay. Parademons from War World. So power demons were pretty much like they're the forward guard of Dark Side's attack. Right. Okay. Okay. Because I'm as confused as the guys and the people watching this right now. So that don't it's, follow this. Okay. Stuff. So to explain what it is. Okay. So uh, essentially, if you've ever uh, like, uh, well, first start. If you want to get a chance to explain like a really quick and easy explanation for watching this, uh, watch the Justice League animated movie uh, War. Sure. Which uh, ostensibly is a fight with the Justice League. Versus Dark Side. Oh shit! No wait, I have seen that. You seen that yep, one? Then? I have seen so that. So you've seen those creatures that show up in that one? Yeah, they don't look. They, they, they don't look like that. They actually cause... like, but you see them sprouting wings and stuff and flying through. Like these are essentially a bunch of insect creatures and aliens. Like I mean, you could. I'm almost. These yeah. are humans because you look at the way the heels and the legs and stuff on them. These are mo either modified creatures or they're aliens of their own self. Sure. Um, right. So if what I thought was a dream sequence, if this isn't a dream sequence. This means that there actually is an alien attack from Warworld in the movie. Wait, that goes back then to the clip where With he brought this more to us. You know. Yeah. Maybe not alluding to Man of Steel at all. Yeah. Maybe talking about talking this. about this war instead. Well, that's fucking interesting. So like though everybody's got lost the context that the Zod attack was actually like not a war. That was like just something that happened. Yeah. This is the actual war he's talking about. I because to be fair, that Zod attack sort of happened in one day. Yeah. yeah, it was like it, it happened. It was taken down and it was finished. Even though there was a massive amount of destruction. Oh yeah. But this war, this actual war where such humanity had to fight back from fucking destruction. You saw the bit them on horseback though as well, which may they imply like proper disaster level fucking damage, like their like, technology gone and all that kind of shit. Yeah. And like this completely different color palette with the world kind of in destruction, and then also these superhero Superman corpse soldiers. Yeah, I do find it so weird. It's like, you know, why the... What's the fuck... What is that all about? So That's a, that's why this feels so alien. It feels like a such a, a f alternate reality kind of storyline. I know what the best thing is. We, we mentioned, oh, maybe this is spoilers. I'm still sitting here going, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Even though you've told me what it is, I've seen the animated one, and I'm still thinking, this won't actually spoil it for me because I'll probably forget about it and be like, what the fuck's going on? Okay. Completely. So, so like, like, literally... I watching this if if a lot of what we've seen so far before this point mm. happens in the first half of the movie including the Batman versus Superman fight the fight with Doomsday yep the defeat of Lex Luthor and then this starts yeah there's quite a bit to take in <laughs> that's a lot to take in that's a film. lot of plot yeah I mean I, st I still have a feeling that this isn't a key thing in this film this has to be something that's alluding to the future but there's so much of it now in this like whenever you watch all these trailers put together it's, it's there's so much of it I mean you've got that you've got this fight continuing on and you see he's, fight, oh. he's fighting Superman soldiers mm. while parademons are attacking so they're not on the same side either even no it's it's a t it's a tough one I mean fuck I don't know <laughs> so we have this fight strapped in this is what I'm talking about here yeah, I mean, it essentially looks like resistance soldiers all around. Superman in an, like, exactly. Kill like, zone. It's a scene soldiers. from. It's a scene from Injustice. Like we've seen this shot in Injustice. We can hear the clink. It's like a John Wayne walk. Yeah. And does the unmask with that look as well? Like, that, that's a look of disdain like but see, the thing is it doesn't even need to unmask him yeah and we're back to this shot again the Omega shot I don't know I, I'm, 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 I'm perplexed I'm not gonna fucking lie I'm gonna bother what the hell's going on if this is in, in the right order like it looks like he walks out of a bunker there yeah like literally he survived like this happened and he was survived it but we've, like, we've literally got still columns of flame coming out of it so like this columns of flame like seeing them coming out in different parts of the planet yeah that to me looks like War World. So I don't think this is happening on Earth. Oh right, it's gonna be somewhere else completely. I think this is happening not on Earth. Okay. Well that'll that'll accept because That'll make that'll make this work. 
in my mind, none of this fucking makes sense. Yeah. So if this isn't this is this is actually on Warworld, because see those fire pits. Yep. Those are actually what fuel Warworld. That's where it like, fuels the machinery. But it's literally it allows the planet to travel around space. So if Warworld came to Earth, Gain made and attacked the world, and Batman and Superman went to Warworld, that might make sense. Makes yeah. it's the only thing. <laughs> That's the only thing that's going to make sense to me. Now, with the Superman looking mean and aggressive and attacking and like tearing off Batman's mask, I have no idea what that is, unless it's some kind of like misdirection. But it would have to be. Where it's Superman pretending to be on the other side and then he lets, gets Batman loose. Possibly. Well, I will explain this next scene here, unless, uh, you unless know, Superman's going to dress up as Batman and <laughs> go to a fight, which we've seen before. Which... He tears off Batman's mask and then Batman walks out of the, the cave uninjured. Yep. Because this that, that could be Superman in that, the Batman costume. Yeah. I mean, we did see... Uh, I mean, it's an animated one, but we did see uh, Batman, Batman versus, versus Bane. Superman Bane, versus Bane, which was very, very impressive. Superman, well, Super Batman. Batman <laughs> yeah, I think Bane fuck. taking a swig at Batman and Batman not even... Like, <laughs> he hits him and Batman doesn't move and he just like looks at him, pumps himself up and more, swings at him again and he just catches it and just, like, throws him across the room. So maybe, maybe that's what that is. Oh, oh, please let that be one of my things where I've actually got something right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, we have to normal. So, yeah, well, so in this cut, it's gone to this now. Yep. Which is uh, what looks like Arkham Asylum in the city with the uh, sign, the light pitch on. And I think that looks like his threat is like challenged to Superman with his like, suit and all on. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. Next time the lights on, don't you up. I don't know why I just did Superman's uh, line in Batman's yeah, voice. Batman voice. But yeah, like the turn on the light and stand there waiting for him. Yeah. So he's using the vehicle to attack. He blows everything up around him. And they go toe to toe! Yeah, well then. There's that bullet. Hey, you got stronger. I see, see what happened right there? If that's exactly what happens where he catches the bullet mm. and then... So Batman just like dives at him and throws a punch, <laughs> and Superman blocks it. I'm on the bet the next thing will be he'll be looking to his right, looking at his hand, blocking the fist, and then look to his left and open up his hand, and it'll be glowing green. It's... He'll shot a kryptonite bullet at him, and he caught the bullet kryptonite bullet, and now he's actually like, "That's it. That's the only thing that makes sense. Maybe he got the hey, he could have got the kryptonite. What? No, would he have got the? He could have got a kryptonite on the world war, war, <laughs> war world. That's war what I mean. World. Yeah, I mean, essentially, kryptonite could be." Um, I suppose I mean since you, what, do you know what kryptonite actually is it's, it's fragments of his old planet Krypton, yeah. yeah it's parts of Krypton that I, that's one thing I definitely do you know yeah. it's in every Superman thing I've ever seen that's where it explained it came from because it's actually, that's why it's been blasted across the universe because the planet got blown up but I like that context where like that could be what he, he caught a bolt of kryptonite and that's why they can go out toe to toe seems to be doing some damage anyway yeah. oh yeah oh yeah did you see that that was blood he bled Ooh. Ooh. Pause. I want to get this. I want to get this. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! flared. So yeah, it's this bit here. Nah, he, <laughs> he wasn't bleeding. He wasn't bleeding, but he actually he was taking a proper hit there. Yeah. Just you know, bad skin condition. Mm -hmm. I uh, just dirtied. Yeah. Motion blur maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's back into the wall. Yeah, he just rises and comes back and attacks him. So yeah, still more like Wonder Woman again there in white, I believe. Oh, and then we do have that's the crap tonight. Oh, beneath us. Shit. <laughs> and of course, we're showing this. Hot one. lady. <laughs> Scientist, gotta be super hot, like. And of course, couldn't, couldn't just be a, a, a generic. Well, no, I think she's actually playing Mercy, which is Lexi's new bodyguard. Okay. There's a three-syllable word for any thought too big for little minds. Like they having them kowtow to Lex Luthor. Like that implies mind control to me. I really hope they don't put mind control in this. Like anything else. Like he's implanted like a bomb inside Lois and if, you know, I don't know, dead, dead man trigger or some shit. Does that look like a look of disdain or Oh that's hit. Yeah, so he, he like he he said he like Lewis Luther's forced him to be on his knees. The devil will do it. Oh, and yeah, the, yeah, and yeah, the thing is, and behind of that shot, Superman is actually in the back of that shot. Man won't Which one? God. Uh, Devil. Wait for it. This one? Wait for it. Oh, there he is there. Yeah. Now you will have 
Is there anybody? Is Batman's not in that shot? Or is it just Superman? Yeah, Superman. Yeah. Oh, Batman's yeah. kneeling for fucking no one. Yeah. Well, no, that Superman was standing behind him with his arms crossed. Which makes me think that Superman. Like, th this is the reason why looking at this, it makes me think is it possible that that's Bizarro? Do you know who Bizarro is? Uh, it's it's uh, like a clone version of Superman's Gron, Gon, Gron? Well, Gon and there, Bizarro was actually specifically uh, from an alternate reality, like a, a, another unit, like a multiverse, where everything good is bad and everything bad is good. Yep. Yeah, they're all distorted fucking characters. And Bizarro was the anti-Superman, essentially. So, um, the possibility he's been doing the cloning experiments. Did he clone Oh, well, he's got Zod. He's got Zod, and he's got Krypton, uh, essentially Kryptonite to work from and all, but um, do you think he actually... Because remember, <clears throat> the whole reason why Zod wanted Superman, or wanted Kal-El, was, was his, because of the codex in his brain. His DNA. His DNA has the genetics of every single Kryptonite, or Kryptonian inside him, essentially. Aye, but fucking Lex Luthor doesn't know that. Well, he might, have he might have deciphered it from the technology. He couldn't. I mean, because when he found, he found out from the, that scientist told him that, and then things were taken apart and then they fought and all that sort of thing so I'm thinking maybe that there wouldn't have been enough time to maybe save that I don't know if Kryptonian has autosave function on their medical stuff but <laughs> possibly yeah, yeah. well I mean that's, that's it. it's a it's a possible timeline so yeah we've got obviously this Krypto Kryptonian fucking uh, which I think in my, um, if um, have you ever heard of the Eradicator it, no there's a piece of Kryptonian technology called the Eradicator um, <laughs> essentially yeah <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't so it's damn bloody useful uh, so the Eradicator actually became a character at one point mm -hmm. it was a machine that became a version of Superman in the storyline called The Death and Return of Superman sure so in the storyline of The Death and Return of Superman um, Superman fought Doomsday sure and got so beaten down by the fight that in the final blow he knocked Doomsday into a coma and Bat Superman died and they buried him Okay, that I've seen. That I mean, I I've seen clips or watched something with him dying in it and all that sort of. Yeah, thing. yeah. So like that's basically the, that's the death. And then in the Return of Superman, four Supermen came to replace him. One of them was Steel, which was a guy called John Henry Irons who made himself a piece of an armored suit. Sure. That it was in respect and honor to Superman, with the big ass in the chest, and he he never claimed to be Superman. He just people started calling him Superman because they could look at the costume. There was the cyborg Superman, which was half man, half Kryptonian, half cyborg. Why half Kryptonian when he's Kryptonian should get the powers anyway? Yeah, you know, but it was a, it was a, essentially it was like if, as, as if he had been heavily, heavily damaged, and he said he rebuilt the rest of himself with cyborg, with cyborg parts. Oh, okay. That, that well, was the premise of the character. Yeah, fair enough. And um, it had has some of the memories of Superman, and was hazy and didn't really know who or what he was because he was like half robot, half man. He was essentially a Terminator. Sure. Okay. Um. The other one was Superboy, who was a clone of Superman. Yep. Made by Star Labs, but was actually only about 16 years of age. Okay. Who became Connor Kent, in the Superboy of the comic books. Have you ever watched Young Justice? Uh, no. It was a cartoon series about the, the essentially the Young Justice League. That's, or the that's, a, that's it. I did watch recently a uh, Superman film, uh, Infinite Superman. What no? was it? All-Star Superman, was it? All Star Superman. All Star Superman, which was about him having a kid, essentially them trying to have a kid. Yeah, he, yes. He he was all like, no, it, our biology, you know, is, our biology is not it's not similar enough to do it. Mm -hmm. And then you know he used a, a telescope to look into the future or future scope or whatever it was, yeah. and it's like, it it's a future Superman from twenty eighty one or something like that. And yeah, those yeah. hands all like, oh, it kind of looks like my great grandfather or something. Yeah, or grandfather. So like, wanna, um, As like alluding to the fact that we even though like ten minutes before that you said. That they're Superman said you're way. biologically non-compatible yeah how does someone in the future look like you while used to knocking boots and banging each other that, that was that was like that was just Dwayne McDuffie's really really good way of doing intertextuality of like different versions of Superman Superman X from the year 3099 or whatever it was but they were able to crack his DNA sequence yeah well Lex Luthor did it from him in prison that's how he's smart this at guy the very is. end of All Star at, Superman at the, at the fair end using Superman I highly, recommend. Like, I highly recommend All Star Superman to sit and watch it is an amazing animated movie I, I convinced you into it to sit you down and watch it you convinced me to watch it and, and it was good wasn't it oh yeah any of the animated stuff's really good to watch because you don't need to go into a whole mad thing about it because it self explains itself they usually stand alone quite mm. comfortably uh, and they all they stand alone but they all have their own context to add to it and yeah. they, again all made by Bruce Timm so maybe the same guy that did, the same guys have been doing the animated the DC stuff since the 90s 
They've all been produced by the same fucking people. Jeff Klein and fucking Bruce Tim. Pretty much yep. run by them. Um, so, right. Where was back, I? Back yes. to the trailer, yes. Back to the trailer. So, here we've got okay. the Millennium Dome being Millennium Dome electrocuted. With all the electrocution <laughs> and the Eradicator. What, like that big giant thing that we just saw, the Eradicator, I think it is. Well, we'll see it now in a second. Yeah. With uh, this mechanism that all the technology technologies built around. Kind of like a world egg. Yeah, like this. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a really shit uh, fucking bad guy from the Godzilla film. Remember they had like yeah the Mothra looking <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Not they couldn't use Mothra, but they yeah have... they used ones very similar. Yeah. So right, the Eradicator was a device designed. It was like essentially a war mm. weapon um, that ended up actually appeared a couple of times in the comic books before it actually ended up melding with Kryptonian DNA and made like a, a version of Superman that they just called the one. Well, they actually I think they called him Visor, and for a long time because he was like he was the only one that actually like the only one that actually wore like a face mask. Yeah. That kind of covered part of his face. It was like a visor to protect his eyes. But um, essentially what that was, was the Eradicator took a genetic template of Superman and gave himself a body because essentially it was like a, almost trying to make up for the fact that there was no Superman, so it needed to exist, it needed to have some existence of crypto. So they, they kind of took that and tweaked it from Lex Luthor. Yeah, so in this case, that Superman that stand alongside Lex Luthor with the evil sinister glare that's actually threatening to attack uh, Batman, that actually could be the reason why they all hate Superman, is actually the Eradicator that came around after the fight with Doomsday which killed Superman so Superman's actually buried see where that statue was where the false god is actually Superman's grave maybe that's it so that's why we can have that's why we can have a villainous Superman in this Ah, this is fucking pissing me off now so now we've actually got another theory I'm I'm overthinking about it I'm overthinking there's like we've got a different planet we've got clones we've got Fucking power demons we've got power demons we've got uh, I don't know a desert we've got Lex Luthor with hair for fuck's sake <laughs> you know Wait, it looks Lex, like a sh- Lex Luthor was ginger in the comics whenever he had hair as well oh that's why Gene Hackman worked because he had sort of ginger hair yeah yeah exactly the, the Lex Luthor was a redhead yeah <laughs> oh from redheads because there was a clone of Lex Luthor at one point called Lex Luthor 2 as well <laughs> who claimed to be actually be the son of Lex Luthor there's so much going on in this film uh, well not in this, just in this film just in uh, DC Comics in general but we now have another theory that could be the possibility with um, this being the um, essentially the Eradicator is the, the villainous Superman that we see and this either is the Eradicator itself or it could be the birthing chamber that brings back Superman so we can have Superman versus Superman in this no, movie no no I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stomp that one on right now no because <laughs> it's not making sense at all which would be a massive reference to the version of Superman that Nicolas Cage would have been playing in the movie from the 90s well, there's, see there's your issue here is this is a film for people like you who know way too much <laughs> and it's a film for people like me that know just enough but I'm as dumb as fuck and then it's for people that have no fucking clue they just love Batman and Superman it's gonna appeal to but this, everyone. This, this could this, be that's this could, this could be unbelievably overcome. They could make this so mm. overly complicated that literally people imagine this. The problem is they're gonna. Sh- right, here's here's an example. If this movie is as complicated as I'm making it out to be, they will still be talking about this movie when Civil War comes out. Oh yeah. So that's what I mean. If they make this overly complicated when Civil War comes out, with its really simple plot of you don't like you, no, and no, fine. no, no, we're, we'll be talking about that in a different video. We will talk about that in another video. No, but I'm just saying, like, if this is overly complicated to the point where people will still be discussing this fan forum, arguing about which what bit was which and what, that might actually be their way of stealing Civil War's thunder as a marketing ploy. Possibly. Also, it's the dawn of justice, yeah. so it has the kick off. Justice League what the fuck Wonder Woman's going to be beating the shit out of in her film probably what Aquaman's going to be you know cleaning up I imagine Wonder Woman's movie is actually going to be a prequel to this it's going to happen before this movie happened it, uh, it is so there's a trailer out for that that's too. what I mean it'll be a, it'll be a, well, a teaser I'm sure but it'll be a prequel to this it'll happen long before it'll be happening whenever she's leaving Themyscira so um, yeah we'll continue on with this if I see anything else so right see that that could be the that could be the, the, that's right next to the monument of Superman uh, with the false god this, may play, this is this. what have you done <laughs> what have you done I'm a clone I'm jealous of you doing something else and of course we've got our fucking Hulk essentially or Doomsday a, 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 no abomination a, I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fucking mark him anyway um, yeah man but I, I, I literally like the, see whenever the previous trailer came out and I saw this I went that's it too much show me too much <laughs> if, if they see where it went to black and you heard the roar mm. and they just cut it on the roar and I was like 
oh, holy shit, they're pro. And like, I would have actually gone like, as long as I hadn't seen this, if I hadn't seen this, I would have been perfectly fine. Now that I have, it's too late. Now I have to comment on it. I have to talk about it. This looks like Doomsday from the comics. That is, that's what Doomsday looks like. You've seen the comics before. Yeah. Before. Well, wh- Ash you and Gray. What if, what if we play into one of your theories where this guy like kills Superman? He kills Superman, but you know, but this is only after. This looks like it's only after the machine goes off and that the that's that's what I mean. The statue is see Superman's way, monument. See, see what I'm saying about the chronological? What, what, people, what, people claim that this is in chron- chronological order. But it may not be. It may not be. True. Very true. But if this is actually in the right order, what if this is just like, you know, a chrysalis, the butterfly after, or the, you know, that sort of thing maybe. What if Superman, and like the Superman who's been brought back for good is in this and just has a, hasn't come out of that shell yet? Well, no. It's a shit theory. If, but if anything, it, if, I, if anything I was looking at this, this is actually Bizarro. This is the evil Superman has morphed into this. This is the final form of Bizarro. Mm, that's a lot there's still uh, there's, there's still a lot for the, and this is only out next week yep so the, 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 if, if I was going to go with that previous theory that I had where uh, the fight on like essentially the reason why there's a difference between Superman and the, the, the Superman that's fighting against Bruce uh, on War World and this one yep that this is actually like an evil version of Superman or a controlled version but everything marketing wise everything is referring to this character as Doomsday and if it's Doomsday in terms of the comic book it was a genetically modified and created creature that was designed to f- destroy Kryptonians well not just Kryptonians destroy anything it was a war weapon it yep. was just a, it's a biological weapon uh, well, that, and the yeah. fact that it's actually he's fighting Batman I feel like that may be in the wrong place, spot Oh yeah, sorry. No, yeah, it's not in the wrong spot. I forgot about. I forgot about yeah. that. Like literally, he's like, it's not in the right spot. Literally, it's in the right spot. Now that's. that's cool I think that's when it hits uh, her shield. Mhm. Oh, speaking of which, the hair comes to shield. Yeah, it's also the fact looking Save at that day. shot. It looks like you know way the city looks after the um with that orange glow. Hmm. Maybe that's what happened to the desert city. Yeah. But I doubt that. She with you. She with you. I thought she was with you. Yeah, maybe she. Well, no, he would totally recognize Wonder Woman. Yeah. Banged Wait, he, fuck, he banged her. Yeah, uh, if he does bang her, yeah. And that's uh, like that's like obviously not a an attack by Superman. That's an attack by Doomsday. How do you know? No, well, like then he's shooting his fucking eyes everywhere too. Yeah, but it's like the the size of the beam essentially is what made me think that. Dun, 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 dun. Is this the fact that Batman's sitting there with a gun? Annoys me. <laughs> Cause, oh yeah, he doesn't use guns. Uh, I don't yeah. like guns. <laughs> he with you? I thought she was with you. She looks badass though. Oh yeah, she looks fucking badass. I'm looking forward to stuff like that as well. Like the, who's kind of like zoom it up, preparing, and then I like, fuck you, diving at things. It's got that whole sort of. I was just at the gym. Yeah, like fresh pump. Yep. Yeah. Batman vs Superman the Dawn, Dawn of Justice. Wonder Woman's prequel <laughs> film <laughs> yeah exactly oh man okay so that's 9 minutes of Batman vs Superman ah fuck there's so, right. just too much there's just too much to, that's I what I mean even... like essentially I, I said everything I possibly could say there through that playthrough I don't even think I want to talk anymore about this until after the film because it's like there's too many there's, there's so many theories that I can actually like throw as an idea for different sections of that which makes me whenever I see the parademons and that alternate Batman costume that's the thing that throws me in this because they can't it's just that for them to do War World and have the parademons attack before yeah. the Doomsday fight but if, you, you, that, that, you're exactly right in saying like he brought this war to us that could be the reason why the, that's the war the war with the power demons and uh, war world that doesn't explain the Superman S things on his, I mean what's, what's what's that alluding to then yeah exactly and then also Superman being an evil character in that bit like that's still that's the reason why it still makes me think that it's a dream do you know what that actually might be it could Lex be a bit vi- it could be a vision that Wonder Woman hol- has could be a hologram uh, <laughs> I think it, I think it could very well be a vision that Wonder Woman has I still hope that the Batman who's walked out of that bunker is actually Superman. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually Wonder Woman in that costume. Yeah, she pulls it off well. That bad crawl. Crawl? Crawl? Her uh, hair fills it. Her hair fills mm, it. Yeah. You know. 
hairs up in the ear parts. <laughs> it's like probably, just probably push it up in the ear parts. Takes off the helmet and actually like stays in that shape. Um, the I don't know. I mean, there's so much content in that trailer or in that. You know what? I want to. I want to hear what these uh, the people have just watched us waffle on about this. I want to hear them give their <laughs> thoughts on some of the crazy shit we've literally on just some of the in theories that I've actually put across. Yeah, like I mean, if if you think I'm right about any of those, make sure to comment underneath. Like. Like if I am I misremembering? Am I incorrect on anything I've said so far? Like rip me a new fucking asshole in the comments thread. Feel free to do so because I'm almost sure about that. <laughs> you know, I'm almost sure about everything I said. Put him in his place because I fucking can't. Yeah, bring it on, I need motherfuckers. To, I, need, I need Wikipedia for it. I just be like, no, you got that wrong. It turns out it was. <laughs> oh, that didn't happen in episode five or issue five five four. It happened in issue five five six. Well, I'm sorry, I was off by two months. <laughs> so yeah. I'm fairly looking forward to that, fellow. Yeah, man. I think I honestly, I'm not regretting watching those nine months because now I have so many theories in my head. I'm pumped on it. You've got too much going on now. I've got too many ideas. I've got too many thoughts of what it actually is. See, there's there's my problem too. Because then I'm gonna I'm going in there going, could it be this? Could it be that? I feel like up to X here and what it could be. Yeah, if you then if when you, I see it, it's gonna go boom. If you hadn't seen, if you hadn't clue. seen any of those, if you hadn't heard heard any of those kind of possibilities and realities that have actually happened in the past, I mean, they they obviously are throwing the fucking kitchen sink at this film. That's because they're playing catch up to Marvel. So throw fucking everything at it. <sighs> and and you know like. The whole bullet thing there, where he he shot the bullet, maybe it's a kryptonite, kryptonite bullet. That makes I'm me think. still, po- I'm still possibly thinking that's probably true. Because I mean, even like, some of the toys that tie into this sort of thing, I've seen Batman. You know, there's ten in there, and they've got like kryptonite things. Gauntlets. Even 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 the gun. There's a there's a Batman gun you can get. It's I think it's a fucking Nerf one, yeah. and it's uh, green darts on it. Or green something? darts. Yeah, can kryptonite only be darts. kryptonite. Kryptonite it's darts. Gotta be that. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that one too. I'm hoping that sort of turns out to be what it is. Because every time he's been shot by a bullet, by a bad guy, be it James Dean or James Dean, James Kane or fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the guy from Lewis and uh, St- fucking I'm Dean Kane. Dean Kane. Yeah, right. I was wondering there really. Get a waffle off. James Dean. James, James Yeah. Dean Koontz. Dean Koontz. 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 the sci-fi writer. But uh, yeah. Like they've they've always you know haha I've got the bullet and you know, it's only until he looks at it and realizes it's kryptonite. Sometimes I wonder if it's just a placebo effect. Uh, well, in this case, we call it the fact that he actually catches the ball. He doesn't open his hand, but I think that's the reason why that like looking at the angle of that shot where it pans over to that side, I can almost see the camera following his eye line back across where he looks over at his other hand, and then slowly opens it and it's actually glow like they've got the green kind of dusted glow in his hand. Yeah, and then he's just like just one of those things where you just have Batman just. Like, fucking nail him with a right hook he's like because he's blocked the left one and then fucking hits him with the open face so he just like knocks him back I'm going like, right now it's on bitch <laughs> Kyle, gauntlets actually like ra- rack themselves together because you saw that in the uh, Dark Knight Returns where he has the gauntlet where it actually like almo- it almost like piston punches where Batman's throwing the punch yeah. but it actually like goes and then fucking punch it like, it, 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 it almost throws his so, arm into it <laughs> so it, 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 it was sort of reminiscent of uh, the Hulkbuster yeah the Hulkbuster like, kind of like, <laughs> pattern around <laughs> punch <laughs> yeah fucking just Pies so they said you whenever he throws punches, like it actually like adds that extra impact. So it actually like hits and then pulls back and then hits them again. Yeah. Uh. So if anything, it makes me want to see the film more. Yeah. Definitely, definitely makes me want to see that film more. Um, I'm looking forward to it. We're, we're, we're just you know we're a couple of days away. Last week. Yep. 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 Twenty third. Twenty fifth. Twenty fifth. Well, preview, preview, if, if you're lucky enough to get a pre preview and premiere ticket on the twenty third. There's um. Oh fuck that! Lifford always usually has it on the Wednesday, the first day sometimes. So. <laughs> they're, they're gonna break street date. <laughs> all right, so we're all going to Lifford then. Pretty much. All go to Lifford. Take over Lifford Cinema for one night and actually see if this is it's, right. It's the same. Same for for, for Deadpool. Deadpool was like, you know, oh that was a brilliant film and people were commenting like, how have you seen that first? And I was like, <laughs> well, I'm in Ireland. How how have you not seen it? Where are you from? America. You should have seen it. Oh, it's not out yet. Fuck you. All right, so, so we we saw it in our local cinema. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's the best thing about local cinemas that you really don't give a fuck. And, and the local <laughs> independent cinemas just don't care. Yeah. And they will do anything to get your ass in that seat before they go, you go to an Odeon. Oh yeah, because I'm sure, you know, Warner Brothers is going to come down on like a ton of bricks. Fuck that. Who the fuck are they going to know? Unless oh, you, you made a shit ton of money a day earlier than the rest of the cinemas. <laughs> exactly. Don't care. So anyway, I think that was, a, that was another one. Yeah, guys, that was part two. That was actually the Batman. Bat- Batman versus Superman commentary on the nine minute supercut. Um... 
uh, quick points, uh, essentially like, comment, and subscribe on any of the ideas that you thought you heard today. If there's anything that you really disagree with or anything that you actually think is more than likely bullshit coming out of my throat. Um, Trolling them? Yeah, just kind of, kind of get get me on Twitter on Pastiche of Skin or get me on Facebook or get me, well, actually, no, fucking leave my Facebook alone. <laughs> um, comment in underneath the video here and make sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos. Um, I hope to see you guys all in the next video. So it's, this is goodbye from me and goodbye from... Real World Convoy. Get me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, Twitch, whatever the fuck it is. Troll me with your comments and thoughts on this film and we'll be back with a a review off the film after we've seen it yeah so I, I, you can probably expect that like a day or two <laughs> after we've actually seen the film see how wrong or right we were I'm so tempted to actually literally put a checklist on the wall like as like a like one of the things where you're going like I was right about this I was right about this I was right about this. like I want to make that list go through next video expect a checklist <laughs> yeah bitches check your checklist and I'll check my privilege in the next video so I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye bye